YouTubers, what's up? It's your boy Hamlet. We're going to be bringing you another video. This video today, we're going to be talking about uh, the barrel stove that we have. This is just an old oil tank that was repurposed and pretty much used to burn wood, right? Um, we're going to show you the shop real quick and show you how massive this shop is. This is pretty much a truck shop and I don't know, the dimensions have to be like a hundred, maybe a hundred by a hundred. Maybe 150 by, it's just huge, all right? So we'll show you. Stove right here, and ceilings probably go, I don't know, probably 20 feet high, all right? You can see all this, and you can see the trucks or whatnot, and there's more trucks back there. I mean, this place is pretty, pretty doggone massive, all right? So anyways, uh, we're going to be heating the shop up. This right here is in the corner. We're going to be working on this furnace and we're going to be updating it. All right, so what we did here, this was used, um, they got like a little kit and they've been throwing, you know, uh, stuff in there, wood. And you see the ash built up in there. They got a little four tubes in there for as a heat exchanger. All right, and they have this fan going. All right, so what we're going to do is... This little door was too small for all the stuff that we wanted to burn, like stuff like this. We're gonna close that door off, seal it, and we're gonna make a, a lot more bigger opening on this side. Um, we're also gonna be adding a squirrel cage fan, furnace fan to the back of this, which will put, push a lot more air and possibly have to get some more tubes to get uh, the heat exchanger working since we're gonna start putting out some more massive heat uh, the other thing we're going to do also is we're going to cut this out, make a door here, and we're going to create a waste oil furnace. We're going to, I'm thinking of creating um, a two burner system, and I'm going to have a beer keg standing on top of there and dripping off into the inside of this chamber, along with a little blower motor to push that air and make it even um, a kind of a vortex mix. But we're going to do two burners, okay? So we're going to probably have one on this side and one on that side. And if you want, you can still burn wood on the center. After doing a lot of research, that's what I think I want to do with this setup. So uh, we'll get to it. We'll cut this door out. Right, real quick, uh, we got this um, pretty much picture framed in with uh, some angle iron. All right, and we got it all welded in at the top there, and we're ready to put on our door. Pretty happy with this. Uh, don't mind that little corner. We got that pretty hot in there, so I'm gonna have to uh, fix that little hole. It keeps blowing through when I keep trying to weld on there. But uh, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, door on and see how fitment is. And we got this all cleaned out. So um, we're gonna be ready for some oil, baby. All right, so we got our hole cut up and we put our, our door on. We got some uh, little hinges from uh, Tractor Supply. While they're on there, put those little spacers to help. We uh, cut a little piece of uh, sheet metal to get this uh, little handle on there. Should put some wood on there so uh, we don't burn ourselves. Opening that handle. And um, it's working pretty good. This is the setup we got, all right? So we use square tubing for that door and the angle iron there. That way, it's a nice sealed, uh, nice sealed door. Boom. Cutting a beer keg. This is going to be our um, oil tank. Alrighty, so we got the beer keg that we cut up on the top. We mounted this. We used uh, pretty much like some three inch bands and we welded it to the side of the thing. We got a little piece of angle iron at the bottom along with some square tubing. We're going to need uh, probably two more other pieces of square tubing going down on each side. Just so it could stabilize this and make sure 
this doesn't just spill anywhere and um and pretty much just make a little leg uh platform for that piece there but um this is going to heat up the oil is going to heat up inside of here and it's going to lower that viscosity so that it can drip better once this actual unit heats up so the next part once we get that on there is the uh, drip system and pretty much we'll be good to go all right guys so we got our keg here and we made a hole large enough for this uh like faucet shower drain this is a shower drain actually if you look carefully you can actually find a shower drain with um this is um what is this called this is a pipe thread pipe thread fittings and this is a inch and a quarter okay and this is gonna be our bulkhead fitting and we're gonna go ahead you see it's got two washers here and this kind of help stop any large debris from coming into the pipe and clogging it up you can take this uh part part off we might do that but we're gonna go ahead and install this on that side all right so we put in the tub thing to come out and this is an uh, inch and a quarter. We made sure to use some pipe thread. And this fits in nicely. Give that a good thing. I'm going to have a little T going off here so we can have one burn on that side and one burn on that side. Alright guys, so we got our little copper piece in there. Um, I did a mistake of welding, you know, soldering this on before... Um, putting it on but anyways this is our piece copper this is our pipe it goes directly into it all right i just pretty much made a hole through this elbow this goes right in there and then i made a little bend here um i try to make it less of a 90 degree so it's kind of more like 45 50 degree 60 and then that's the pipe it comes out right there we're gonna make a hole in this and that's gonna pretty much make that come out and then we're going to do a bunch of little holes so, so that the air that's coming out through the black pipe travels out like a little vortex all right so here we go yo joe we on fire right now Fuego! We got heat! I guess it's true what they say uh air and fire don't matter No, nah, I just making sure, you know. <laughs> the furnace fan that we had added back there. I should make a little protection thing here so nobody just stubs their finger in there. <laughs> but, um, yep. Got that on there. And we also went ahead and closed these up to make sure there was no uh, exhaust leaks from there. As well as that. Um, we're going to clean this up here on the floor. And, yeah. This isn't leaking, I just, I did an overspill here when I was pumping the oil into it. Um, but yeah. Right, so I've made a lot of modifications to this thing. Uh, added those three burners there and then I went ahead and re-welded these holes to make sure that there was no gases coming from there. Um, also made this side door there, big old side door. And I used the eight inch to a six inch there, helped with, with the flow. here is making all that noise it's pushing air into the burners and this is where the diesel I mean uh, the oil the nasty oil is at all right and it's uh, I haven't measured uh, what the consumption rate just yet um, 
but it seems like I got it going pretty good right now. We have two little gate valves here, and don't mind these welds. These welds were horrible. But anyways, uh, I have to re-weld these. Like I said, don't mind these welds. Like they were horrible. Um, I ran out of gas um, for the welder, and I didn't realize it. And anyways, you see how the termination goes inside of the pipe. This is delivering the gas, I mean the oil, the waste oil, and that right there is pushing the air inside of the tube. So it's pushing air with inside of this in there. You can kind of see, I still need to really close this up because uh, we're getting some exhaust fumes from here. Uh, but other than that, I closed off this right here and I made a little bit of a better transition here and I closed this one right there and then this is the door right here then we also added this big big fan furnace fan let's go around and show you but yeah Alright guys, so we got this uh, freaking heater going. 